Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. For this video, I have decided to make a delicious mashed potato. So this recipe is really fluffy and really simple. All you need is some full cream milk, and I'm not going by measurements. Um, I also have some unsalted butter, and as I said, not going by measurements. I'm just estimating and winging it. I have my masher, some table salt, and some ground black pepper. Now this is just for the taste. Now I have pre-boiled my potatoes and the camera wasn't working. So I have done that and now the camera's working so I can show you. Now I cut about 12 to 14 little potatoes into cubes and have cooked them down. Now they are still a bit tender, but you want them to be to that point where they're not that soft and they've still got a little bit of a bite to it. Obvious, obviously, the softer they are, the easier they are to mash. So I have just started to mash them. Now, as you can see, they were a little bit harder to mash because obviously, as I said, they were a bit tender. Some people like to even blitz their mashed potato to make it even more silky and smooth. It totally is up to you. You can even add garlic into this recipe. Garlic works really nice. Um, you can add oregano or anything like that. Now obviously you can do the exact same recipe and swap the potatoes for sweet potato. That also works really well too. And sweet potatoes are a bit bigger so obviously you will get a bigger portion of your mash. So I've just worked it all and squished it. Yeah, now I have switched to a whisk. Now, as you can see, it is sticking to the whisk. So maybe just add your butter um, and obviously not your milk first because milk kind of cools it down. Add your room temperature butter in and then your milk. Now I have added a bit of table salt. I actually did end up adding more once the camera was switched off because it wasn't that salty and obviously having it with something else actually last time we had it with some roasted chicken and a salad which is really nice but obviously you want a little bit of a salty element so I did actually end up adding more salt and I actually I think I left a pepper as it was I don't want it so spicy obviously if you're making garlic mash tone down on the black pepper sometimes I don't even add black pepper black pepper at all um, because the garlic has got a really good kick and a bit of spice to it now I have used another utensil and it was my spatula now this is actually my baking spatula because the other ones were in the wash but I have just this is kind of easier to, I think, mold and press down. So I have changed to this and I've added about, let's say, 75 grams of butter. I didn't really measure. I kind of just wing it, obviously, by the color of the butter. Um, so the more pay, or the more yellow goes, obviously, the more butter is in there. Now I did add about equivalent to maybe a quarter cup of milk to half a cup of milk. Um, but obviously you would mix and keep adding until it is well combined. Now this is the final product. I did actually end up adding more milk after this because it was still really studgy and really like, I don't really know how to call it, but it was really pasty and usually I just like scooping it up, but it was really sticky. And so I actually decided to add a bit more milk which is why it looks really light in this photo. Now I also added the pepper on top and some chives that I found and some butter as well on top. Now thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.